Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at a new theory craft. Uh, something weird that I had stuck in my head, which, you know, sometimes I just want to make things weird that are stuck in my head come to life. Um, this theory craft is going to be a, um, a sorceress that kind of relies on her equipment to cast her spells instead of actually casting them herself. And she's going to run around beating things with melee. So it's going to be an interesting um, kind of a situation. Um, I have a lot of ideas in mind for this girl and I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work out but we're gonna we're gonna try it anyway and see how things go uh, first things first let's go grab our mercenary oh, we're gonna need a pretty good one I'm trying to think exactly what kind of merc we want probably blessed aim if I'm uh, if I'm thinking correctly I'm, I'm thinking blessed aim because we want to get hit so defiance probably isn't the best option. Um, we want to get hit, so slowing down the monsters probably isn't the best option. And uh, we don't really have any physical damage, so might doesn't really work out very well. Uh, so we probably want a holy, a blessed aim merc. So let's actually save and exit and come back in, because there's no, there's no blessed aim merc there. No blessed aim merc. Let's go ahead and put in some strength so we can actually use our equipment. Yes, citizen. There we go. Chill on. Uh, thorns could also be an interesting option, yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and put in the stats we need. Um, we actually can't count the Enigma. Actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's just go grab a cube, shall we? It's probably the easiest thing to do. I'm just going to go grab a cube real quick. I forgot to edit myself in one. That's why you give yourself all the waypoints. I would assume that D-Clone is either spawning or spawned. I kind of just ignored the entire thing, didn't I? Goodbye, Enigma. Goodbye. All right, sir. Hello, soul. And then we have a dragon. All right, so we have a lot going on with this character, and it's uh, it's a little bit hard to explain everything. Um, I'm going to go over it bit by bit as we put the character together and kind of figure things out. Uh, let me go grab his gloves real quick because I have some special gloves on this character which I'm going to use on her. Um, I figure why not. They're, uh, they're sexy. They're super sexy. They're very, very sexy gloves. Yes, indeed. Okay, don't tell me what to do about my gloves, okay? I'm just kind of looking at everything. Got a bunch of crap in here. Will this character work? I'm pretty sure she will, actually. Not that anybody asked. All right, let's go ahead and grab a 1540 and throw it in the Merc's helmet. I'll put that to good use. There you go, have a nice little 1540. 
All right, so the Merc set up. He's set up pretty good. He should be fine. Um, as for me, I'm not set up. I'm not going to be fine. I need to uh, beef up my decks to 140. And I need to beef up my strength to 188. All right, so now we have our kind of our situation here, like with our character. Our resistances are god awful. Um, not really sure how we're gonna fix that, but whatever. Um, with the way we set up our character, it shouldn't matter too much, but we'll we'll see as we go forward. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to go ahead and dump in twenty points of the fire mastery. We're going to dump in 20 points in the Lightning Mastery. And uh, we're also going to dump in 20 points in the Cold Mastery. I'm not 100% sure if we want to go this route just yet, but we'll see. Um, we're definitely dumping in 20 points into Warmth. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's the synergy for Firewall. And if you notice, on Pride, there is a 25% chance to cast level 17 Firewall when struck, uh, which was is going to be one of our main damage types. Um, on the Dragon Armor, we also have a 12% uh, chance to cast level 15 Hydra on striking, and that's going to be something that we're going to take advantage of as well. So notice that the synergies for the Hydra are Fire Bolt and Fire Ball. So to beef up the Hydra that comes from the armor, we have to beef up the two synergies for Hydra. Um, it's level 15 Hydra, but it'll still hit pretty hard if we beef up the synergies for it. Uh, we also have a 2% chance to cast level 20 Meteor when struck, and uh, Meteor also has synergies for Firebolt and Fireball. Um, and then we also have the 10% uh, chance to cast level 16 Lightning on striking, uh, which will get enhanced by the, the Lightning Mastery. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to put any points into the synergy for that, but we'll see. Uh, first things first, though, let's go ahead and grab... Energy shield, because we're definitely going to want energy shield. Um, and we're definitely going to want telekinesis. We're probably going to want both of these, actually. Uh, we might not have enough points, actually, to max out both of these. I'm trying to think where we could potentially skimp a little bit. I mean, we don't necessarily have to go, like, super heavy into Energy Shield, because we're not doing the whole Immortal Sork thing. Um, it actually might be better if we don't lean entirely into Energy Shield, but we still use it. We still utilize it. Uh, so let me, let me see if I can redo this again. Because I've already messed up. I've already messed up. Uh, you definitely could spend hours. I, I definitely agree. Alright, so we don't want frozen armor because frozen armor will freeze them. We, want th we don't want them to freeze. We want them to hit us. So uh, let's do shiver armor instead. And it's only going to be, like, level 5, which isn't, like, too terrible. Um, let's go ahead and put one point into Cold Mastery, one point into Lightning Mastery, one point into Fire. Uh, we definitely want to max out Warmth, and uh, we need to uh, get Enchant, obviously. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to run this the best. Hmm, we got 68 points left. I really have to max out Fire Mastery. I have no choice. And I feel like I really do need to max out the Lightning Mastery as well because I'm leaning into the Lightning with the Lightning damage on the Charms, uh, which is going to hit pretty heavy. Hmm... So, yes. So, 
So as of right now, we have our firewall maxed out. We have our blaze maxed out. So we've got those those two things uh, maxed out. In fact, I just realized that we took our alignment armor off, so we no longer have the blaze. And I don't have the inferno strides on here. Consarn it. Uh, we need enchant maxed out because that's going to be a big part of our damage. So let's just go ahead and, and tap out enchant. Uh, which is going to leave us with eleven skill points left, and um, what do we put our points at? To I'm trying to think here. Um, I feel like if we're going to use energy shield, we've got to max or at least put some points into telekinesis so i think it's like a no-brainer we've got to go through telekinesis um it's going to help us help our survivability a lot all right and then we need hp because hp is important if we don't have hp what are we going to do with our lives what are we going to do with our lives All right, let's see how this goes. And then we can also throw the Oak Sage up. So let's test this in Frigid Highlands first, just for, for laughs. I don't know how fast I'm gonna die. Let's just see what happens. Actually, this is in Player's Aid, isn't it? Hold on. Let's, let's give ourselves a fair shot and make sure that this build actually works in Players 1 first before we go diving into Players 8. If it works in Players 1, then we'll, then we'll dive into some of the other player counts. I've got no potions. I've got regular potions. Why? And that jank says 21k. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot. I've got my plus to skills on the other hand for casting. There we go, 24k, that's more like it, 24k. <laughs> um I did change it to players eight, right? I did not. Okay, let me change it to players eight. I might have to reboot the game before it hits players eight. <laughs> I was trying to pick up potions, you meanie. You meanie. She hits like a Mack truck. Like, holy crap, she hits like a Mack truck. Why does she hit so hard? It's actually kind of insane how to hard she hits. Get my goal back. Oh. 
die. She <laughs> she hits really hard for no reason. <laughs> she does 23,000 damage. Die. Pierce my energy shield? You rude? You heckin' rude? <laughs> this, this character's so stupid. I don't even know what to make of this character so far. Let me restart this in player's A just to make sure that it's player's A. Sometimes I'm always like overly cautious for no reason. I'm like, is it player's A? Is it really player's A? Is it really? All right, let's go kill Shank again and Eldritch. Ow. I can't take damage, though. I'll tell you that much. I cannot take it. I can dish it out. I can dish it out, but I can't take it. Oh my god, let me click on the corpse. You trolls! Mean... Bopin. I can't remember. Not sure which which one we're talking about. Afternoon. Hey, Jalan. Head Jalan, head Jalan, head Jalan. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what weapon I'm using. I could go in there with this weapon and I could still do 24,000 damage. I'll beat you with a with an orb. Beat you with my orb. I'll beat you with my orb. Hi ho the Dario. I'll beat you with my orb. Come back here. Don't be immune to all elements. It's rude. All right, so let's uh, let's try a couple little tiny changes here with this build. Um. So theory theory crafting, it's fun, right? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make some tiny little changes here. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. Let's go ahead and put our points back in. All right, so let's go ahead and dump in twenty points into telekinesis so that the exchange rate is better. 
and um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll dump in 20 points into energy shield. This is this is just kind of like a because I know that this kind of stuff is important. Um, let's put one point into lightning mastery. Let's put full points into fire mastery, and we're gonna have to ignore cold mastery for right now. Um, I just kind of want to see how this turns out. I totally forgot to put one in the shield, didn't I? Yeah, totally forgot to put one in the shield. Shame, shame, shame on me. Shame. I just kind of want to see how this would run if I went, like, sort of more full into mana. Still going to grab... 600 HP. I feel like that's a pretty good number. And now we're running 1,200. Um, well, I did find an Ami with Replenished Life. It's the Rising Sun. The Rising Sun has plus 10. But I think the uh, Seraph's Hymn was better because it had plus 2 and plus 2, which is plus 4 to prayer. And I think it worked out better overall, if I remember correctly. I'm definitely tankier, but I definitely lost a bunch of damage. It's a little bit difficult with the uh, with the skill point distribution. I mean, clearly a lot tankier, but also clearly a lot less DPS. I went down from 24,000 damage to 15,000 damage. Which, I mean, 15,000 damage is still a lot. It's still a decent amount. So you see all the firewalls and you see all the hydras that are constantly spawning. This is part of the build. So as they come in and they attack me, they end up spawning all these firewalls and they end up spawning all these all these hydras and the hydra the firewall in particular is fully synergized um, I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I might go back to uh, enlightenment enlightenment might be the better choice there that was a lot of damage really fast hey look there's my meteor <laughs> there's my meteor um, I mean, we're definitely having issues with survivability, and that's obviously because of our resistances. Our resistances are terrible. Um, if you take a look at our fully equipped resistances, they're just kind of really bad. They're really bad. I'm not going to lie. They're really bad. I'm running a whole 80, negative 1, negative 30, negative 30. So, so like, the worst resistances possible. Um, obviously, these could be resist charms, which would increase my survivability, but, I mean, it's going to decrease my damage exponentially. Um, I also could swap over to... I'm not really sure. Hmm... I mean, the Hydras was a good idea, but unfortunately I just don't have the points to synergize the Hydras to actually make the Hydras do more damage. So I think the Hydra is ultimately a failure in this build. It doesn't really help us out very much. Um, whereas the Blaze that comes from the um, Enlightenment armor might actually work out better. Oh no, I'm I'm good, trustworthy. I'm pretty sure that build is just Seraph's him. Seraph him is the is the best option for that build. Um, I I think I I worked out the numbers and it it came out better. So uh, the highest lightning dam char damage charms are actually both lightning rolls. If you look at it, it says shocking small storm sh charm of storms. So it's actually both. 
Um, and the amount of damage increase that you get from it is actually kind of ridiculous. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. So watch watch my damage right now. See how it's 3,025? Um, if I throw 20 points in a Lightning Mastery, 12k immediately. And that's specifically from the charms. So Lightning, Lightning Mastery can massively affect those charms in damage as long as you're punching things. And, um, and that's where I'm getting the 24,000 damage is that I'm, I'm using the Lightning Mastery to improve the Lightning damage. And then I'm using the Warmth and the Enchant to improve my uh, fire damage. Um, and then once I cast Enchant on myself, um, then I have the Fire Mastery to go along with it. And now I'm at 16,000 damage, literally just punching things. I could run around right now, and I could literally just, like, find a monster and punch it. And as long as it's not immune to fire and lightning, I would literally kill it because of the way that these, these two damage type works. If I, can, if I can hit them without dying. Literally punching things in hell and killing them. It's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, uh, the Merc's damage when enchanted? Oh, he, yeah, he gets the enchant too, but he doesn't get the fire mastery bonus, so it's not as good on him. Um, unfortunately, fire mastery, the, the mastery bonuses, the fire mastery... The Lightning Mastery, the Cold Mastery, none of that applies to anyone other than the Sorceress. So um, when it comes to Enchant, Enchant does do some pretty nice damage. Um, ad addition for your character with the Fire Mastery, but it's it's not as much when you cast it on anyone else, unfortunately. Um, and then, of course, you got plus the skills and stuff like that, which would make it even higher. So that when you cast it, you know, you get you get an even higher enchant, and that's where things get get really ridiculous. So like when we take a look at my Merc now, he's got six thousand four hundred and thirty six damage. Um it's two thousand one hundred and eighty eight extra fire damage for him, so it's not bad. And then for me it's even more than that, because fire mastery doesn't show on the skill. It can, but it'll be a lot less lightning damage. That's that's what I literally said earlier, Mimi. Me, me, me. Because the lightning damage on these higher lightning damage charms has to roll both to get that high amount of lightning damage, if you add in five all res, it takes away half of the lightning damage, if not more. So you lose a huge portion of the lightning damage. Um, one thing I could do, which, which would increase the survivability of this build a ton is just add in something like Chains of Honor. Chains of Honor would, uh, would probably work really well. Let me see if I have a Chains of Honor sitting around. I don't feel like the Hydras are doing me that much, that much good anyway. Um, I'm trying to remember who has a Chains of Honor just sitting around. Just sitting around. Nobody needs that. I think it's her. I think she has a Chains of Honor on. She does indeed. Uh, Chains of Honor, I think, would help out a ton with her build because it's 65 all res and it's plus two skills. Uh, let's let's play around with the Chains of Honor on her just to see if that helps her out any. And um, we could always give her a couple, like, 20 life all res charms to pad out some of the resistances to hopefully make that a little bit less painful. Um, giving up a couple of them might not be too big of a deal. Just a little, I mean, we, we're doing 24,000 damage. I feel like we've got a little wiggle room, just a little bit. A couple charms here and there is not going to hurt us all that much, but we can't convert, like, all of them. All right, so there's our Chains of Honor. Unfortunately, we lost a huge amount of strength when we took off the dragon. Our resistances have gotten a lot better. Um, so let's take out just uh, just enough of these. 
So our resistances are at 75%. All right, there we go. We're 75% all res now with 80% in fire. So that, uh, that'll that help out a little bit on making that, you know, not as terrible. And uh, we need, oh, are, are we worried? We didn't even have our shield on. Okay, hold on. Check that again. All right, so with the with the pride on, we've we still have a little bit missing. So let's go ahead and take two more of these. Sixty-five percent. That's pretty darn good, in my opinion. Pretty darn good. I'm not really sure that the rising sun was the right choice either. Um, so I think I might want to swap this over to something a little bit more useful for her build. Um, I should have something sitting around. High Lords is definitely not the correct option. Let's just switch her to a Maras, a plus two Maras. Why not? All right, so there we go. Now, look, now we're at 90% cold, 80% fire, 75% lightning, 75% poison. All right, so that's that's plenty. Uh, we might even be able to take some off. Let me, let me double check here. So, yeah, we can take off a little bit. Let's go ahead and put one more of these lightning charms back. All right, so that one, taking that one off, would uh, would bring us down, back down below, so we don't want to do that. All right, let's uh, let's get this character rebuilt again. All right, so we got our warmth, we got our enchant. We have um, our lightning mastery. Let's go ahead and put one point into shiver armor. Um, definitely want them to hit us. That's the whole point. Then we've got 18 points left. Uh, what do we need for these 18 points? We don't have Hydra anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. We're not running the Meteor anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. But we still are doing the Firewall, uh, which is going to help us out a lot. Um, I mean, we could throw the points into Energy Shield still, so we have that tankiness. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and put... Um, we're going to put the majority of the points into telekinesis to increase the conversion rate. All right, and then we need to uh, increase our vitality or our mana. All right, so we got 485 health, but our energy shield is a 57% absorb. So we still have to take at least half of the damage to our HP. So I feel like we're going to need um, probably about 700 HP at bare minimum. Let's do 750. That sounds about right. And then we'll dump everything else into mana. Um, so we got like a half and half split essentially between the two. All right. Let's go to Canyon of the Magi again. It's kind of fun there. We are playing in Players 8, by the way, so keep that in mind as you watch me get mercilessly slaughtered. I feel like Players 1, I was already dominating. I was absolutely dominating Players 1 with no problem. Oh, yeah, let's grab some pots. Let's be fair to the character and get her some potions. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? All right, so our current damage is 7,972 to 22,000. It's half and half lightning fire. And uh, we also have some firewalls, which are going to come out on a regular basis, which are going to do some pretty good damage. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and throw we, 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 teleport up there so we can maneuver around the battlefield.
You know, for players eight, she actually kills really fast, and it's it's honestly surprising just how fast she kills for players eight. Like it's kind of mind-bogglingly insane. She has she has no problem killing things. I mean, granted, yeah, she walks around whacking everything, but I mean, the firewalls also kill things, which is pretty impressive. My only problem here is the Merc is, is going up there tanking. I don't want you tanking, Merc. I don't want to do the tanking. Don't you really go up there tanking? I want to tank. Punk. Did I choose the wrong one? Freezes enemies that hit you. Freezes enemies that hit you. I don't want the one that freezes enemies that hit you. I want the one that doesn't freeze enemies that hit when it hits you. You know, what? let's switch over to uh, this one. For players eight, she is doing surprisingly well. Let's let's get a contrast real quick. Okay, let's get a let's get a contrast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna contrast her with a player's one. Uh do jank here. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't let me choose it while I'm in here. Hold on. I guess I gotta make a game and choose it while I'm in town. Let's con let's contrast it with a player's one. I just kinda wanna see the difference between players one and players players eight. Go, uh, let's go to, Sh to Eldritch and Shanky Poo real quick, and we'll murder them in Players 1. I didn't even cast my buffs. I forgot to cast my buffs. Where's my teleport? <laughs> yeah, she kind of wrecks. Like, she hits hard as a freaking... Just so hard. I, you could probably throw a bear, like a, a beast on here and turn into a bear, I guess. I mean, I'd, that could be an option as well. Like do a, do a beast axe or something. I mean, you see, the firewalls spawn all the time. Like, they're, they're very common, and the more you get hit, the more they spawn, and it's just... Like right, like right now, there was like three of them up there for a second. They don't really last very long, though. I mean, as you can see, there's two right there in an X pattern. I feel like if you made this uh, with a pride and you actually turned it into like an immortal sork, you could just stand there and let him wail on you, and he wouldn't even have to do anything. Just stand there and let him wail on you. Why not? Hey, a ring. I am overburdened. A ring for me. Um. All right, guys and gals, I think I have tested this one about as much as I can right now. I'm going to formulate some more stuff and maybe come up with some new ideas. Um, I mean, right now, as of this particular moment, if you built this particular character this particular way, it works. Like, 
it's not even that uh, super expensive as far as equipment goes. I mean, I think the Chains of Honor and the Mars are like the two most expensive items in this in this build. I mean, I just threw these on because that's what I had. But you could just use 20% IAS, 10% crushing blows. Or you could find some good gloves with resistances. Or you could just throw in laying of hands. I don't even think it really matters. Um, the real expensive part of this build, from what I can tell, is the, the, the elemental damage charms. Getting your hands on this many elemental damage charms is going to be a, quite a feat. Um, but if you could potentially get your hands on enough elemental damage charms, this build could totally work. I mean, the amount of extra damage that I was able to add to my character was almost like 12,000 damage with these charms. And then on top of that, you've got the enchant, which is like another 12,000 damage. And then you could throw in crushing blow and open wounds and stuff. And it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.